Hello everyone, it's Angus here and I thought it had been a while since I did one of these little video postcards and I had to go out uh, to the post office today uh, to post a letter to DVLA in Swansea, isn't that exciting? Um, yeah, and it's the first day of snow uh, in our part of Germany this year. Um, so I thought I'd have a wonder after being to the post office around the block and uh, let you see what our uh, little village Maximilian so looks like uh, when it's snowing. And I know this is not particularly unusual for Scotland at the moment because you're getting the same southerly weather coming down from um, you know further up north. Uh, Scandinavia, I think. Anyway, just wandering down uh, the streets, the big church on the uh, was on the left-hand side. We'll see it again in a minute. Is the sort of local Catholic church um, and nice little picturesque square. So, what's been happening to us? Well, DVLA thing is about getting our van that's over here sorted out. Um, uh, so we can, I think we've probably decided just to sell it in Germany and there is a market for them here. Um, I've had my residency extended, um, at least temporarily till July, uh, temporarily because they've got such a backlog um, and uh, so that means I can start planning to come back over to the UK again. Uh, there's one in the old sort of traditional timber uh, houses that you get in this part of the world. Um, as you all know, we're not far from the Black Forest, so um, you get a lot of these old buildings. Look at that door. That's a sort of a metal, it's probably cast iron or something, door uh, to the church. This little square here doesn't look it at the moment, but it's a hive of activity during the summer. Um, because that's where the ice cream shop is. Um, there's also several restaurants around this little area. Um, and I think I'll swing round in a minute so that you'll see one that we go to quite often. In fact, there it is. It's, it's, uh, it's menu outside there. Um, it's a nice little part of the town. So, uh, the other thing that's been happening is I need to get a German driving license. I'm only allowed to drive in Germany using my British license for six months. So, that kind of was, <laughs> was going and went. So, um, I don't have to sit the test, but I do need to um, do the German first aid course, which I have done and passed. We did that last week. Tanya came with me as my interpreter. Um, so I passed the German first aid course, which was all taught in German. Um, but it's the usual things, you know, the CPR and um, how to use a defibrillator and how to put a bandage on somebody. So it wasn't too hard, having done many before. Um, so, um, and the other thing I needed to do for the German driving license is have an eye test. Um, so they don't just point to a number plate in the distance and say, can you read that? You actually have to have an eye test, so um, thankfully I passed that. Another thing that we've been up to is there's an organisation which has been going since the 19th century in Germany, but also worldwide I think, uh, called uh, Nature's Friends, as it is in English. Um, and uh, Tanya has been a member for well, I think ever since she was um, an adult, but um, we have a local one not far from here, and they have a choir every Tuesday night. So we went along for the first time last Tuesday, and I enjoyed it, and Tanya enjoyed it, and she was able to catch up with lots of friends that um, she used to go to school with. So we're going to keep going back to that. Um, back to the pictures here, we're walking up um, towards, well, well actually on Harslacher, um which is the street upon which we live. 
um, and uh, you'll be coming, you'll see our um, building, that's just on the left hand side there as we walk around, that's the side of it. Um, just quickly, um, now I've got my residency sorted again, I'll be coming to the UK, so we'll let you all know when that is uh, very soon. Winifold Wise, thank you so much to Adrian and Roz for helping us out. Um, our shed blew down um, and we're needing some work done on the roof. Thankfully, the insurers have paid for a new shed and barbecue. Um, and we're getting the roof looked at uh, very soon. So thanks for them for keeping things um, keeping things going whilst we're, you know, not at Winifold. But... Um, yeah, coming over to the UK, as I say, hopefully um, um, mid-February, around about then. And I'll see you all then, looking forward to it. But we're just coming to the end of my little walk here. I hope you like this little postcard. Um, and I'll try and do more in the future. Um, and we're just walking round to our front door. Um, uh which is a, you know, it's a shared apartment building, so um, that's our front door there. And you'll soon see, if we go to the doorbells, there we are. We have Mera McCurrough. Bye, everyone. <laughs>